just messed with my day. And I am freshly out of the shower. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, oh gosh, I got so much to tell you about work. It's on fucking real. Okay, so we're gonna use a tomato mask from Quirt or Quirt or whatever it's called. I've got only two left. These are like very known to be awesome mask. Um, and I had gotten quite a bunch of these in the last two years. I think I must have had altogether 20. I have no idea. But um, the webbings, they are ill-fitting though. Very ill-fitting. So and they are very drenched. But they are so good. So, 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 so good. Um, so it's one that, you know, sometimes in between I'll use here one or there one I haven't used before. But I always... I'm like, you know what, it's time for another tomato one because I know what I'm getting myself into with this one. I know how my skin reacts to this one and it's a good one. Um, as soon as I can fucking get it apart, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm in a spot right now. Mm. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so. Uh. I got a new job. I got a new job. And um, I'm not going to say here on camera where I work now or where the new job is. But I can tell you I'm, I am going to be working in the food industry as I have many, many years before. Um, I used to manage so many restaurants. And I swear I'd never do it again. But this one is different. This one has like a very good system behind it. A very good team. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting paid the same. I get Sundays and holidays off. I work in the daytime. Uh, so I will be home either early in the afternoon or late in the afternoon to, you know, catch up with the sun, um, or daylight in general. Uh, uh, my health has gone from the night shift in the last two years to the point where I am subscribed to vitamin D. Like, it's not just, oh, you can buy it over the counter. No, I have to have a certain amount. They even do blood work and everything and check me out. Because it's like, it's, you can feel it. Like, I mean, when I went on vacation and I was in the sun for a week straight, like, all of my symptoms that I would have were gone. Like, waking up with headaches. Um, uh, and then just, like, I feel like my vibe was different because I was getting, like, I guess, life from the sun. Um, and it's not like that, like my bones and things, things start to hurt, like, you know, my shoulders and, you know, I still get back spasms. Um, I did not have those when I first got back from vacation. I'm starting to get them again now and they're really, really bad. But, uh, so I'm, I'm happy that it's a daytime. Um, and then, you know, it's kind of like, alone that the safety is the thing, right? And let me tell you about the safety. My job. Last night, there was a party in town, which there's normally never, we don't have a club, right? But they do have a club party thing that I guess it gets rented out, like a, a school hall or some shit. I saw everybody wear James Williams. And, and so I was like, okay, that's the school. So they must have gotten like, you know, some kind of room from them or something. Well, anyways, um, I heard there was uh, people, you know, so, my store was flooded. We have 16 gas pumps. They're all busy. Like, everything's flooded. People are mingling in there. It's kind of like the Disney World of the gas stations, I guess. Um, and I'm the only one there. I come in. Ain't shit done. Like, there's not no cups filled. No cups. Like, the teas are old and expired, and they stink, and they're sour. I have to take care of those. Uh, the coffee machines haven't been cleansed, or, the, you know, things changed out. The cigarettes haven't been stocked up. The cigars haven't been stocked up. And I have no fucking money. Like, there's no money for me to get changed for, like, fives, ones. Like, when you run out, I have nothing. Like, and I have no coin change. Like, there's nothing there. Okay? And, um, so that's my first stress is when I walk in. Is That's the first stress I get. Okay? So, the next stress is that I'm alone and this place is fucking flooded. Then I hear there were shootings, and, and yeah, we have shootings a lot, you know, um, and what's, what do dummies do when there's a shooting? They leave the area, and they go hoard another area, which is my gas station, 
So that's not very smart. So, you know, it didn't take too long for police cars started showing up there. All of a sudden people were on their best behavior. Um, so, uh, you know, after things started dimming down, they all left, you know, the morning people are coming in and those, that's what I'm gonna miss about this job. I really like my morning people because it's like, you know, I guess they never heard it until I started working there a few years ago. They never heard anybody say, hi, how are you? Good morning. You know, cause everybody's on their damn fucking phone. Um, or they're, they got the Bluetooth on chatting with somebody when they got a customer that you're not supposed to do that. Right. But do they have accountability? No, because management lets them fucking do it. They get written up. No, cause management lets them, they just do whatever they fucking want. They don't do anything except for stand at a register and exchange money. That's it. If there's no cigars in the wall, they'll say, oh, we don't have it. In the back, we have it. You just got to take your little ass back there and go get it. But do they want to do it? Fucking no. Anyways. So, um, uh, the police came in and they were like, you know, they're going to start doing this thing. They want to do this thing with like, uh, with the store so they can keep footage of people who are going into the gas station. They want to be able to backtrack footage. Why? Because every dumbass after a shooting goes to the gas station. Like, because they're not going to go to each other's houses personally. Oh, hell no. Because, you know, that might cause another stir up there. No, let's just go to the fucking gas station. Like, fucking idiot. Anyways, so what I was thinking about doing, I've got some shots, like, of the empty counter in the background. And I was going to make sure that there's no name. Um, of the store in that picture in those pictures and I was thinking about doing gas station stories on TikTok <laughs> and on YouTube because I just I have I have had the most insane people there in the last two years so a girl came in this morning and you know I'm really nice about saying look I, I really need some help to someone needs to really step up on the game before I get there because when I get there it I can't even do my job because all of their jobs aren't done. Well, today, enough with the nice gal. I said, I am fucking mad. I am fucking tired. I am mad. I have no money. Uh, nothing's done. This place is packed, you know, and it's not, you know, I, I, I managed to get everything done with a smile, but I should not be put under pressure like that. So anyways, there's my rant to the gas station. So, you know, trying to get a new job. The car breaking down, the fridge messing up, and having to send the fridge back because it won't fit in the house because I picked that one that was a little too nice and too big. <laughs> uh, and then actually, you know, then and then you know, and all that stuff happens during the daytime, and I I'm lacking sleep and I'm just uh, a little overwhelmed. So you know, I do pray and everything because you know I do believe in God. Um, nonetheless, um, it every time something like this happens, like all a cluster I get like this cold sore here see this I, I want this bitch gone before I start my new day my new job because that's not fucking cool that looks horrible but I always get one here or somewhere around here when stuff like this happens like when I'm I guess my immune system goes down somewhat I don't know but um Normally, I lose, because I'm a picker, and normally I lose my cool, and I'll pick at it. I'm not doing it this time. I'm not doing it, I swear to God. Um, and I hope that it will just mellow down and go back. I am going to try to put an ice cube on it, actually, because now I have noticed that the more lip gloss I wear, the better it feels, and when it's like that, it tends to feel a little bit better. But, um... Oh, I love this mask so much. I've got one left of this kind. And then I'll just have to go find some more. Okay, before we go, empties. Not much. I even rinsed it out. It was so good. This is Maui Moisturizing Care. Um, this is our Pui Conditioner for dull hair. I had the blue bottle. The blue bottle was so good. And I went back to get some more and they didn't have any more. So I got this one and this one is good too. It is, you don't need as much as you do with the blue one. The blue one's like a 
like a milk kind of texture, a little bit thicker. This one is like thick. Uh, so you kind of really have to like rub it through your hair and let it sit for a minute. It's good, but um, I rather prefer the blue one. But if I don't get the blue one, I will do this again because it, it's good. Like on Amazon, I think it's like $12, but I got it at Ollie's for like five. So yeah, I was really happy with it. Another wax, we got the vanilla French toast. Love that. That's gone. Um, I did this week, I got cinnamon apple. I got some new ones this week. Um, I'm really happy with. And then, this smells so beautiful, but I will never get it again. This is the Alien from Terry Moogler. Um, I saw something on the runway where one of the models was wearing like a rope around the neck, like the hanging rope, which is, <sighs> I consider it to be either um, like shade for the Holocaust or shade for uh, the black community. And so I'm just not going to do it because I just don't believe in that shit. And the more I look at these brands like Balenciaga and... Uh, Terry Migler. I'm, I'm totally thrown off. I won't bite again. It did smell very good though. So let me smell it one last time. And it was weird because I always wanted to take the top off. Yeah, I see. I got it all out. Okay. Bye, bitch. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I am so glad that I can vent about my job now because my days are counted and I could never do that before online, but I am going to, and I'm going to turn the situation and make the best out of it. So I thank you guys for watching so much. Love you.